It's a once in a lifetime, a cosmic commotion, and Randy Ayers wants to get as close as possible. I think everybody's kind of interested in astronomy and uh, it's just an opportunity to witness this incredible event. The Palomar Observatory, one of only a handful in the country able to get an up-close view. We've been able to observe the, the sites on the planet where the previous impacts have occurred. Now Phil Nicholson and fellow Palomar scientists are aiming at impact. What we hope to do tonight is actually watch one of the impacts occur in real time. For the first time. For the first time at Palomar. But there are down-to-earth glitches with the celestial light show. Oh, that these things have been so bright that we may saturate the detectors. So we have a nasty problem. It's like taking a movie picture of something really important and in the middle of it a giant flash bulb goes off. It happens once every 1,000 years, so scientists will do just about anything. I can see the sun way out from the tomb. To ensure this is not an opportunity lost. We're kind of privileged to be around and a chance to look at this now and have the instruments and the telescopes that we have to do so. But the big show could be tomorrow. That's when Fragment R hits. If it impacts near a previous site, it could be large enough to be seen by amateur astronomers. Graham Ledger, News 8 at the Palomar Observatory.